Okay, now that we are done with the WWDC and whole iOS 5 thing, let's get back to Android or rather some Android apps. Well, this is Pratik, you're already watching TechWiser, let's go. First up, we have Count Things. It is a really helpful AI app that lets you count objects around you just by taking a picture. Suppose you have lots of coins around you and you want to count them quickly. Well, just arrange them separately. Pick up a template inside the Count Things app. For our case, it's coins. Here, you take a picture, then tap on count, and it's done. There are 15 coins in here. Great. Another template is for counting pills. So previously, I was going through a lot of medication and I have to count them to make sure I have enough medicine for a week. Now, the app does that. Select pill template, take a photo and hit count. There you go. The purpose of the app is more for industrial workers and you have to choose the right template to get accurate results. You cannot choose coins and then take a photo of vegetables. It won't work that way. You get many templates to count vegetables, bottles, pulses, etc. Go ahead and explore the app. Next app is my personal favorite, Time Rise. Now, it's always faster to study or do a task when you have a time limit to it. So this app acts like a visual timer. All you have to do is set up a time and then flip the phone. The timer will slowly fill your display showing that time is running out. It acts like a virtual hourglass. So now, instead of seeing the time, I can see the hourglass quickly. This really helps you to sit down, concentrate and complete your work. When your hourglass fills, if you need more time, just flip the phone back again and the timer restarts. Do try it out, it really helps. Next up is Android 12 stuff. Now, in case you don't know, Google revealed Android 12 Beta 2 this past week. It had lots of customization for themes. But another major update which people kind of missed is Android 12 widgets. The widgets are now redesigned and dynamic. Now, if you are in a hurry, there are two apps that let you try Android 12 widgets right now on any Android device. First one is Android 12 Clock Widgets. It gives you the exact pixel themed watch face, simple one. But here's the other interesting app called Material UI Widget. It does require KWGT Pro, but it lets you have all the cool looking Android 12 widgets on any device. It lets you put up the pixel style clock, battery status, RAM status, lots of stuff. Here, I have this quick shortcut layout from Material U widget where I can access the browser, calendar, calculator, camera, etc. quickly from the home screen itself. You also have lots of widgets to explore within the app like this Bluetooth and battery information one. The app is paid and it costs about 70 rupees. Continuing on Android 12, one of the biggest features of Android 12 is the privacy dashboard. You can see all the apps that access your camera, microphone, location, etc, etc in a sequence. So suppose the last app that used your camera was Instagram. It will appear on top of the privacy dashboard. This way you can see what all apps access your important sensors at what time. Like if some app is accessing your location without your knowledge, you can easily figure it out from the privacy dashboard. And now you can get the same exact feature in Android 11 as well. There's an exact app called Privacy Dashboard. It looks the same as Android 12. Here, if I put the Pixel 3 on Android 12 and Nord CE on Android 11 side by side, the Privacy Dashboard on both the phones look exactly the same. And the Privacy Dashboard app does two important tasks. It puts up a small indicator on the top when an app uses your camera, microphone or GPS. Like here, as you can see with the camera app, it is using all the three sensors, location, microphone and camera. Additionally, if you open the app, it shows you all the apps in descending order that have accessed your sensors, that too with date and time. So OnePlus released two new experimental Android apps this month. First one is a very popular live wallpaper app. It looks simple at the start, but here, when you tap on it, it tells you your app usage based on the category. So in my case, I've been testing these apps today, so my time is around one and a half hour of app usage. The wallpaper app also provides a couple of different looks like this glow wallpaper. You can set up a daily usage limit and these glowing rings will slowly move towards the daily limit. So hopefully, hopefully you use your phone less. But the second app, the interesting one, which most people missed out on is Clipped. Clipped lets you share clipboard, images, videos with a PC or Mac. Now, if you already use an Android and Windows PC, you should use Microsoft York Phone Companion that works much better. 
However, if you have just bought a MacBook and have an Android phone, like me, unfortunately, well, you can use the Clipped app. It uses your Google Drive account to sync text, images, and videos. It does come a lot handy when you have to send an image from a PC to mobile or vice versa. Clipped cannot access your other Google Drive files and it only retains the last 10 items in the app. So this next app is really interesting. Now you might have seen the new iPad OS or Mac OS where you can swipe from the bottom to bring up quick notes. It lets you quickly note down an important piece of information. If you missed the WWDC coverage, here are 10 things you should know from Indian perspective. Now back to Android, you have an app for quick notes. There's an app for everything in Android. Download the one swipe gesture app and it has this small green slider on the edge. All you have to do is swipe over it and it opens a text box to quickly note down things. It can be as small as an OTP or mobile number. You can adjust the position of the slider to top left, top right, according to your preference. One swipe gesture is really a very useful utility and it matches well with Android gestures as well. Another really helpful app is from Google. It's a PDF scanner called Stack. However, there's one thing different from other PDF scanners you have seen. It not only scans your bills, receipts, PDFs and uploads them to Google Drive, but it also pulls up important information from the PDF using AI. So for example, I upload all monthly expenses at the end of the month in Splitwise. So now I can scan receipts and keep them under the Stack app. It quickly shows me the bill amount at the bottom. This way I can copy the total bill and upload it to Splitwise. Now Google Lens can also do the same for you, but in case of Stack, you can find all your bills, ID documents under one app. So this was the list. By the way, have you checked out the spy camera video? That was a fun video with a lot of information on how to stay safe from spy cams at the end. You can find it on the i button. With that said, I'm Pratik. See you soon.